Good day, Buckton. <laughs> nice name for a stroll. Heard you and your mates showed up at the BNS. Yeah, so what? Stay long? Maybe. Care to give me an account of your night? Rocked up, got drunk, and left. Just going somewhere? There was an incident at the ball. Yeah? Xavier had a chunder, did he? A sexual assault. Do you know anything about it? No. Neither do you. Or we'd be having this chat at the station. Get it as we're not. Means you have no idea. And I've got better things to do. See you later. What was that about? Nothing. Wait, Charlie, hang on. What's what's wrong? What's happened? Bianca was raped last night at the BNS. He doesn't remember who did it or what happened. Wait, is that why you were talking to Heath? What, she said she didn't remember anything, though? Brax, he was there. They've got a history. No, Heath wouldn't do it. How can you be that sure? Because he knows if he did, we'd kill him. That should be enough for you, too. I'm sorry, but it's not. Are you sure you're up to this? No. But I don't think I'll ever be. Let's just get it over with. Right, can you start by telling me what you did when you first arrived? I said hello to a few people. I got a drink and had a dance. Do you remember who you danced with? Many people I knew. Love, are you all right with this? Hmm? I had another drink and some of the river boys arrived. Including Heath Braxton? Yep. Later we had a dance and a laugh and he got a bit too full on so I pushed him away and I don't really remember what happened after that. And what about at the end of the night? Do you remember anything before Sid and Rue found you? I remember being on the ground in the dirt. I couldn't see the marquee. My dress was ripped. And I knew what had happened. I felt disgusting. Are you alone? No. I couldn't see his face. What about what he was wearing? Can you remember anything that might help us identify him? It was a, a picture. A picture like a logo on his shirt, maybe? No, it was, it was on him. A tattoo? Yeah. Bianca, do you think if you saw this tattoo, you'd be able to recognise it? I don't know. Maybe. It's a big emergency. <laughs> the hell was that for? Did you do it? Do what? The anchor. Hell no. What were you doing at the BNS? Having a laugh and a few bourbons? Yeah, if that's all you were doing, why'd the coppers get you in? Because they're desperate. Some fuzzy memory of a tattoo isn't enough to put me away. Buck didn't even try to make me take a DNA test. Will you tell her you'll do the test? Why? Because it'll clear your name, won't it? Are you crazy? Once my DNA is on record, it's there forever. I could get busted for everything I've ever done. Now you're the leader of the boys now. You need to send the message that rape is a line we don't cross. We? Mate, you walked away. You have no control over any of us anymore. Yeah, but you're still my brother. All right, you'd be an idiot if you let this slide. Now you do the test, you clear your name. No. Do the test. Chat with Heath down at the station today. He refused to take a DNA test that would eliminate his involvement in Bianca's assault. Yeah? Yeah. But then he came back an hour later and agreed to do it. Good for him. Yeah. 
Would you know anything about why he changed his mind? Do you really want to know? No, I guess I don't. So how long is it going to take to get the test results back? We've got a rush on it, but it's not a fast process. And in the meantime, Heath is still a suspect? Yes. <sighs> what? I walked away from the boys. I, I needed to start looking out for Casey and for me. What and breakfast going? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was such a great idea. What, you don't want to be associated with this. Uh, Heath is a loose cannon at the best of times. I'm just worried that now things are going to get out of control. Yeah, that's exactly why you want to stay away. <sighs> You've done the right thing. Are you serious? You want me to live at her place? But you got a better plan? The alternative is you move back home, you drop out of school, or you go back to the motel and struggle. It just, it doesn't seem like much of a future to me, Cass. Why are you going to say it like that? You see he's down there, you know what his problem is? He's got a few. No, he's lazy. Now, sure, he talks big, he's got his big plans, he's setting himself up with this and that, but there's nothing. It's just talk. Now, he will never test himself. He'll never know what he's really made of. But, mate, what you're doing, and moving out of home, getting your HSC, that's putting yourself to the test. So even if you fail, you gave it a shot. And at the very least, you always be an outstanding delivery boy. <laughs> and if I don't fail? If you don't fail, well, then you're here, and that's good. You gotta keep moving, you gotta keep testing yourself. Then, all of a sudden, you're up here. Yeah, you got a good job, respect, wife, kids, if you want them. That's where you find out you know, who you really are, what you can do. So you're up here, up down there. Is that what you're doing? Fanjo's? Yeah, I got in. Just making it happen. You know, a new challenge comes along. I'll have a go at that too. Bottom line is, Casey, you don't get anywhere if you don't try. So this move is a cooler one. I guess so. Good. You get going. I'll never talk to our lazy brother here. But I'll catch up with you later and I'll help you make your stuff. Cheer up, Emo. Hey, Princess. <laughs> Inspector Joyce, I wasn't expecting you until this afternoon. Not the best start to my morning. My people are doing everything that they can, oh, sir. Well, clearly that's not enough. Sir. The marijuana plantation was a major operation. We missed the harvest. And we've had no luck chasing any leads. They're running rings around us, wouldn't you say? We've already made several arrests, sir. Tell that to the young woman who was drugged and assaulted at the BNS ball. With all due respect, sir, I don't believe that the marijuana plantation is connected to the assault. Oh, you don't believe so? Well, I've been reading the reports. The young man you saw riding away from the plantation on a motorcycle... Heath Braxton. ...is also being investigated for the BNS attack. Now, in my book, there's no such thing as coincidence. But you dig deeper. Should I ask you how your day's been or just pour you a drink? It's tempting, but it's not a social visit. I know we don't have the results back from the DNA yet. Then what is it? The new inspector wants me to bring in the ringleaders behind the dope plantation. You've been working that case for months, though. I know. That's why I need your help. Rex, you gave us the tip off about Brody, even if he did disappear without a trace. So, if you know anything else, now would be the time to tell me. And I'm not saying that you had any direct involvement, okay? But there are a number of river boys have been connected to the plantation, including Heath. How did I know this was all going to come back to him? You can't blame me for asking the question. Well, it's not the first time you've asked it, though, is it? When are you going to stop going after him? Do you really think he's innocent? If Joyce gets Heath on rape charges, 
then he will make sure that he faces some really difficult questions. And who knows what Heath will say. Yeah, and I swear, no matter what Heath says, none of it's going to lead back to me. Anyway, look, I'm sorry I can't help you with your boss. Now I've walked away from the boys, I don't hear anything anyway. I'm busy, Charlie. And I'm not. Why'd you tip Heath off about being watched? I mean, the only reason I can think of is that you knew what he was up to. Heath's done nothing wrong. Okay, then why warn him? Well, what did you expect? You know, the bloke crosses the road without looking both ways first and you threaten to arrest him. Rex, I'm trying to do my job. Yeah, well, he's my brother, Charlie. Yeah, you can't keep going after him without it affecting us. It just, it doesn't work that way. Not in your world and definitely not in mine.